I don't actually know if I need the cold brew because I think that my rage towards the men in these episodes will fuel my energy. And I, I like, I'm, I'm already too amped on my hatred. So maybe I don't need the coffee. Before we get into it, we are now talking about episodes five, six, and seven of Love is Blind season five. Yeah, they were released as a batch, which I think was a strategic move on Netflix's part to send us all into a deep depression <laughs> so that we didn't have energy to do anything else but watch Love is Blind. So expert marketing move on their part, I guess. Uh, but yeah, where we left off last time, we're going to give a brief synopsis. But if you really want the full details, all the tea, you have to go back and watch our recaps of episodes one, two, three, and four. But essentially we have three couples at this point. We have JP and Taylor, we have Izzy and Stacy, and we have Milton and Lydia. And outside of that, there's just a lot of drama, particularly between Uche and Aaliyah, Everyone. Is, Uche and yeah. everyone. <laughs> Uche and everyone. The specific drama that we open episode uh, five with is is between Uche and Aaliyah, though. But that's that's where we stand. Violet, do you want to <laughs> try to give a synopsis of this dog shit phone conversation that we had to witness? Uche says some words that are not awful. Um, but overall, we listened to Aaliyah cry, and it's really painful and terrible, and I kept wanting it to end. And then Uche did not get more empathetic over the course of the phone call. And it really then turned into Lydia being some girl, okay, uh, which is kind of a 180 from him calling her, like, really trustworthy and amazing when he was in the pods, but fine. Um, and then telling Aaliyah basically like demonizing her for having emotions. Like if you can't get through this, then you don't have the right like grind set to be my partner. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I know I'm just laughing at your use of grind set in a, in a like dating capacity. I, he, at the end of the conversation, he hits his head on a boom mic and I'm like, even the sound equipment thinks you're a dick. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want her phone number. <sighs> I don't want to see her again. He has been in this reality TV situation just like Aaliyah was. He knows how difficult it is. So even if she just left because she was like, I need a fucking Evian and a cracker. <laughs> like that, that should have been enough reason for her to leave. She's allowed to do that to take care of herself. And he's, he, he's being extremely confrontational instead of trying to understand why, seeing if they can work through it together. It's, it's, it's ugly. Yeah, it is ugly. And I think I would feel that desperation more if we didn't know they all lived in the same geographical area. Do you know what I mean? Like, if this were truly like an international love is blind, like I'm never going to run into this person organically. Our paths will never cross again. But like you all live in like Houston. Yeah. Just like you'll probably Just run into each other in a meet up game. later. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have our reveal. I, I, I'm doubt. I every time I want to say the phrase tunnel reveal, tunnel I'm reveal, because you've made me realize that it sounds disgusting. Would you like <laughs> me to reveal my tunnel? <laughs> Lydia and Milton see each other for the first time, and it's very cute. It, it's it's moderately cute. Hey. <laughs> There's going to be, I mean, none of these tunnel, none of these reveals <laughs> are ever going to be like, wow, this is so romantic because it's the most awkward fucking situation you could ever be in. But the, the, it did almost feel like a rom-com to me because he was like, he, he was trying to get the ring out of his pocket and he's like, oh, that's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's why I made the meme in our last episode. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got, because I got more rocks. Don't worry. He's just walking around. <laughs> His suit is just weighed down by rocks. Well, it's because you know on the way, he was like, oh, is that a cool rock? 
<laughs> Let me put that in my pocket. I'm going to look at that later. Look, I'm not making fun. I'm I I love people who are niche weirdos yes. like that. It's great. Like have hobbies, have interests, get weird mm-hmm. about stuff. Yeah. Um I do wish though that they had given Lydia like an apple crate or something to stand on because the height difference. I did not realize he was 6'7". Damn. Yo. So controversial take i filter out people over certain heights on dating apps because i already have neck problems and also it's i I don't if i were milton i'd be like i can't break my fucking back like this every day of my life i'm sorry that picture that classic picture of shaquille o'neal and his wife where she looks like a doll (laughs) that he's holding i don't want to be that and like look (laughs) If my soulmate is 6'9 and out there somewhere, we will make it work. But I'm just saying if I see you on Tinder and you're 6'6, I am not swiping. If I'm not mistaken, that is the last sort of uh, pod slash tunnel scene that we have. That's the last uh, reveal. Yeah. And now the Lachey's are back to explain that the couples are heading out into the real world, except first they're staying at a resort in Mexico. So not really the real world, I guess. Wait, why because are the cool. Lachey's here? They, we haven't seen them since the beginning of episode one. What do they do here? <laughs> Their job could truly be accomplished exclusively by a voiceover. So I'm not understanding why they're paying the Lachey's to be here. This is actually what AI is for. Hosted right? by Chat GPT. Love yeah, lines. like give it to Things. Chat. Make Chat GPT watch this, and then like let it talk. Oh no! But then Chat GPT is gonna have funny takes and commentary, and then we're out of a job. I say job like we're monetized. We're not. <laughs> we but nobody pays us to do this. No. <laughs> nobody came to us and was like, "We need your pop culture takes." <laughs> no one else is talking about Love Is Blind except for us. <laughs> Obviously. the culture needs us <laughs> that's we're why we do doing, it we're doing the lord's work okay this will be saved in the library of congress one day and studied let's get through the mexico stuff because like not a we, lot happens i mean we have a big breakup but aside from that like very little actually happens what they focus on, and this is true every season, when they get to the resort, wherever it is, it's like, who's boning and who's not? Like, it's totally. all, they're, all they're talking about is this, or the lack thereof. What is that? Sex. No, it's not. I think you mean this. Oh, like this? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Oh. This is nice. Should I keep doing this? Is this going to get us views? I don't anyway. think. <laughs> um, yeah, the only thing, like, I, why are the camera people in your bathroom? Like, that's what Dude. I need to talk about. It? That Maybe was I'm uncomfortable. But this felt so much more invasive than this was so because it wasn't even like, oh, they're going into the shower and they close the door and the door, you know, the camera. No, it was like, are are they fucking right now? Seriously, like ass on the other side of this shower <laughs> panel, not even a wall, a shower panel. Is there a cameraman standing here with this like giant rig while they and, like a fuck? <laughs> barely frosted panel too like there we were not not a lot was left of the imagination i actually i have no desire for this level of intimacy with these people like it is repeated it is like without my consent <laughs> too mm-hmm. much the show could be called tmi <laughs> why are we airing this <laughs> There are ways to suggest that people boned without actually showing the foreplay. Hasn't, I mean, I, I don't watch The Bachelor, but hasn't The Bachelor done that for years? Oh my God, yes. So the, <laughs> my encyclopedic knowledge of yes. this <laughs> show, my God. Uh, so yeah, the Fantasy Suites week, when which is known, which is, you know, the unspoken week when everyone bones, 
the they basically have like a romantic date they might show them making out in a hot tub or something Mm -hmm. um but then they like you know they close it's very cheesy they they close the door to the hotel room and it's like do not disturb it's that kind of shit yeah like that's you get it you get it and then like the next morning they will allude to like the time for us to be intimate and clo- get get closer and it's like just say you fuck <laughs> okay but i can't believe i'm about to say that the bachelor sounds classier in their handling <laughs> yeah. of sex so we have the party first where everybody like meets each other calling it a party seems strong yeah i mean the only the only people that like you maybe would have been interested to see meat were Lydia and Izzy. And even that was like a nothing burger. So oh, yeah, um, I don't, and like, she's not remotely interested in him and like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not anything. I mean, Izzy like monologues at her to try to make himself sound like a good person, yeah. I think, but Why? Um, that, so that was bizarre, but yeah, nothing too wild happens at the party. I mean, we do start to see, like JP and Taylor are maybe like feeling some distance between them. But I don't know when to bring this up. Is this the right time to talk about the fact that JP's entire wardrobe seems like it's from Party City on the 4th of July? Because does this man Ah, own anything that's not not branded with the American flag? ah, No, literally, literally every single scene he's in, it is a red, white, and blue pattern of some kind. I am surprised his shoes are not special edition Nikes with like red, white, and blue. I am shocked that he wore a suit for the reveal and not like a flag onesie because everything i bet you can find a flag suit okay missed opportunity jp what the hell there's still time i I guess you don't really love this country (laughs) i don't i yeah like some of them make sense people have like flag july 4th boxers or swimming trunks and you have shirts and old navy used to do that for a long time like all american or whatever but Every single scene. Everything. Everything. Like, at one point, you just expect him to bring out an American flag and just be, like, holding it while he talks. (laughs) It's honestly, (laughs) you know, spoiler alert, it's a good thing that they don't get married because I swear to God, he would have made her walk down the aisle to, and I'm proud to be an American. (laughs) It's just, it's too much, man. Like, while guns go off in the background. (laughs) What are they, F 15s? They fly over. Yes, they fly over. (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. It's, yeah, but here's the thing that's anti American about him he won't talk. Holy shit i would lose my mind (laughs) like give her something bro what right at one point i was like are they editing out every time he speaks to make this more intense but i don't think so i think they included the words he says but it's just things like we'll get there the future is ahead just hold on just have faith in me have faith that you'll do what respond to a conversation prompt someday i don't know what's going on with that man well i mean we're going to get some more information about what's going on with that man and whether we want it or not because (laughs) more is going to happen in episode six so we have to talk about the conversation they had when they were sitting in bed because violet when i tell you I screamed at my television, and I, that's not an exaggeration. And that you tried to present yourself and look as best you could. But I feel like if you would have presented yourself like this, without any makeup, it would have been better. I screamed. At what part what? specifically? Um. of women would love to hear that. Oh, 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 sir. Woman expert, JP, certified woman expert. Also, 
I had an ex who used to throw that stuff at me all the time. Well, my friends don't think there's anything wrong with my, with what I'm saying. Well, would you like to date and live with and fuck your friend? Because the only thing that matters is what I think about it. Exactly. You're not like, dating so, them. <laughs> right. I hated the way he was talking to her. I hated all of it. And it really scared me that at the end of the conversation, she was like, but I really appreciate that you shared that with me. And I'm like, shared what? He didn't fucking say anything except don't wear makeup anymore. I know. I. She is trying so hard to end their interactions on positive notes rather than negative notes. She's just trying so hard. And like, I totally saw myself in some of these exchanges in ways where it's like, you shouldn't have to fight this hard to get someone to just like appreciate you being around. Yeah. And I just felt for her so much. That's why I'm very glad that at this breakfast they have the next day, she walks away, which mm -hmm. I was very afraid they were going to, they were going to push through and I Me didn't want to watch that. I, I just, I think she got a, a reality check finally. And the show really hammered this home of like, at least the other couples are having fun with each other, even if things aren't perfect or even if they're not getting along perfectly. And she and JP didn't have any fun in Mexico. No, everything was a struggle. I have to say, the way that I would have rolled up to this conversation in a full face of like Bozo the Clown makeup, <laughs> like, I, I'm sorry, I would have t made that petty move after all that bullshit he said. <laughs> like... <laughs> cartoon level makeup to dump his ass yeah she just was so done that that probably wasn't even she was so done oh my god i really wish she had but i totally get it um yeah so i was happy that that ended i was also frustrated that they weren't they weren't eating the fresh fruit that was in front of it them looked it looked so really beautiful good. it was yeah. sliced in this way that i was like i hope that gets eaten yeah, right? At least, like, give it to the staff after the scene is done filming. Like, let somebody enjoy that. So, yeah, that was Mexico. I don't think really anything else worth that was discussing. That was not happened. an exciting, romantic recess time. Before we end the episode, though, we do get a couple of scenes of uh, the couples, like, seeing each other's places. So, oh yeah, uh, Lydia, Lydia sees Milton's apartment, which is, like such a 24 year old bachelor pad. it's There's actually nothing. really good for a 24 year old four year old I mean, bachelor it's, it's pad clean. It's like clean yeah so that that was a plus <laughs> he has a really nice roommate his roommate seems really nice they all kind of seem to get along um it was very cute and she's they're talking about his microscope but he's you can tell he's kind of freaking out because he's like don't, don't, don't yeah i don't microscope. really <laughs> actually <laughs> like the way they interact in person at all he wasn't just like oh oh be careful you know he's like well don't break it and it's like, you bonded over microscopes and she's a geologist. It, I don't know. There's like a tone that I might be reading into it where he seems to be kind of like downplaying her intelligence. Now that you mention it, there was something he said that I was like, I'm going to let that slide. But it was when they were at dinner and Milton was like shoveling pasta into his mouth in a very comedic way. And they were talking about the classes that sh that Lydia took in college. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stuff like, like this. Oh, she we could see more stars, though. You know the reason we can't see a lot of them, right? Pollution. Oh. You ever take stellar astronomy in college? No, I took meteorology. Meteorology? Mm -hmm. Is that like a 2,000 level? Mm, no, 3,000 level. Hmm. I didn't take any courses 2,000 level. Why? Because I'm too smart. We're going to get you flashcards, and she's like, I know English. Um, you, there's just like a weird thread. I, I genuinely hate the whole, I'm glad you reminded me of that because I, I hate the whole like, oh, I need to teach you to speak English thing. I'm like, this feels fucking xenophobic and I don't like it. That's what it. I mean. And like, I'm not saying he's even doing it intentionally. I just feel like he's kind mm -hmm. of downplaying her mm -hmm. intelligence. She's a strong person. Maybe he's trying to be like, well, I'm smarter than you. I have something too. I don't know. I hope it is a blip. Woof. Um, so yeah, so that was Milton's apartment. And then the other apartment that, or I shouldn't say apartment, house, uh, because Izzy goes to Stacy's house and they look around and I was like, damn, Stacy makes bank. I have slightly mixed feelings about 
the because there's there's going to be this sort of a money plot line between Izzy yeah. and Stacy throughout the next episode. Some of which I'm like, Meh? but I will say this conversation in this episode I actually appreciated because she was like, "Here's how I like to spend money," yes. and like money is a is a common talk reason about for it to get divorced. So like, yes, yeah, so let's talk about. It. She's like, okay, well, I like to treat myself to like nice vacations, and like I like to do this, and this is so that, though, important to talk about. Yes. I don't know. It does get complicated with some of the things she says that I don't love, but we're not there yet. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So we see her house. Start, yeah. We see her house and they start to have that conversation about money. And they leave us on a cliffhanger of uh, Aaliyah meeting up with Uche. No. And, which really should not be happening. Girl, no. <laughs> and that's where we open episode seven. Reclaim your time. Who said that? Uh, Maxine Waters. Reclaim your time. <laughs> yes. She is the one of the first things they show her saying is, I still want you. And I'm like, why? No. No. Okay. Yeah, that conversation. Here's what I will say. Aaliyah, great job just straight talking, saying what you want, taking accountability for what you feel you did, and owning your feelings. That was great. I feel like Uche keeps getting in his own way because he wants to litigate everything instead of just being like, thank you for saying this. And what drives me fucking nuts about him is that he keeps telling her how she feels instead yeah. of asking her how she feels. Because she's like, well, oh, she, and at one point she's talking about how she told a joke to Lydia about like, oh, well, if Uche doesn't propose to me, then you can have him. And she's like, but I really didn't mean it. It was just a joke. And then and she like, repeated but, but it he, again. I mean, she did repeat it. It wasn't it wasn't great. Right. But then he goes like, but you did mean it. And I'm like, Uche, she just told you she didn't mean it. And it was a joke. Like, you can't stop telling her what she means well, and how she I, feels. Yeah, I, I think he needs to learn how to say things like. I'm worried that it sounds like maybe you did mean it based on what you've been saying. Could that be true? Just I get I, there are a lot of people in the world who are like, well, that's basically what he said. And it's like, well, what's important is like what she heard to respond to, I guess. And like he wasn't trying to make it non-confrontational. Yeah. And if that was the only time he had done something like that, I'd probably be like, okay, he first I agree. Got but all the time he's like, no, but this is what you this is the reason you did this. And this is and I'm like, she hasn't told you any of that. You are making assumptions and telling her that it's fact. It really feels like he wants to win and have someone be like, okay, you're right about everything and I'm wrong. Right? Like, that's what I feel like he wants, but then he wouldn't even be happy with that because he'd be like, well, that's not what I was trying to get you to say, but that is what you're fighting people to get. Yeah. He wants to simultaneously be proved right in everything, but also come off as a really good person. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, these two things are at odds. You can't. Right, you dude. can either be, you like, can, you can fight people until they admit you're right, even if like you weren't right. Like, you can get the win or you can have a conversation with a person. I don't even know if I want to get into like the whole backstory with Lydia because I'm still no, I don't about even care. I don't know what happened, but also me neither. Because like Lydia is not remotely interested. So like whatever happened, she's not obsessed with you now, right? Like you are starting to seem kind of obsessed, actually. And again, I'm not saying like maybe she did kind of like make you uncomfortable. Maybe she did kind of stalk you. We don't know. But like now you are not letting this go and she is moving on. And I just I hate the way he talks about her, too, because he's like she, he basically is like, oh, she she was a crazy fucking stalker. I mean, look, I was nice to her because I was like worried about her, but she actually is fucking crazy. And I'm like, what, what is But you also agreed to date her and then you gave yeah. her a second chance. So like you're not you were in this. She wasn't just like randomly stalking you like you mm -hmm. were too. What I, we don't know what point encouraging a relationship, encouraging like intimate behavior. This season, I'm like, I don't want just no, <laughs> I don't want any of it. Just end the show. It, it's <laughs> I'm going to make another Chopped reference because I used to watch Chopped like I've seen every episode. Um, there were some episodes of Chopped where my ex and I would be like, none of them deserve that third round. Just end it now and send them both home. That's what I want here is like, yeah. let's just call it, guys. If I mean, just, Stacey, Izzy, if you guys want to get married, keep dating, go for it. Milton, Lydia, same thing. But like, we're going to call it. Sometimes you just got to read the room and 
you know, you, you got you got no one to hold them, no one to fold them, no one to walk away, no one to run. Anyway. <laughs> I was gonna. I was seeing if you were gonna do the whole song. <laughs> I'm 65 years old. <laughs> it oh would actually God. be a great music yeah. cue for the show, though. I think the most of the meat of the episode is at the party. Before I agree. Before we get to that, we should just briefly mention uh, there's this weird fight at Izzy's place between Izzy and Stacy that I genuinely don't understand where the fuck it came from. And it feels to me like it was more than just the, you have a hair tie from someone you once fucked. Oh, that one. Right. It was very, very bizarre. I don't, I, I refuse to believe that that's what she's actually mad about because <laughs> later when they're outside, she says something like, I don't want to be here. I want to go home. And I'm like, I think she's just freaking the fuck out about, I think she's TV. really, like, I, uh, yeah, I feel like it's, it's like when you move into a new place that you didn't really look at that thoroughly and you're going through and you're like, oh, my God, that's <laughs> yeah. crooked. And that that floor doesn't even look right. And like, did I see that stain last time? I feel like that's what she's going through with like Izzy and the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, maybe she's just upset because Izzy's place seems like it's furnished by and decorated by home goods with like live, laugh, love signs everywhere. It's, it's like kind of Milton five years older. That's all yeah. it is. It's Milton's apartment five years older, still single. Oh <laughs> That's so funny. And then Milton meets Lydia's brother and mom, which I thought was very cute. Her brother is really funny. Um, I al Also, this has nothing to do with the scene, but I want to point out that even at apparently a restaurant, they're using like the gold goblets and like at Milton's apartment too, they were- I like, saw that. I I am just laughing at like the poor production assistant that has to be like, hey, sorry, like, could you guys serve them their wine in this glass <laughs> instead of like the actual glass that you use? <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> uh, okay, that meal, it ended nicely, but I felt awkward for a lot of it. Like the way that they're both like, we're so committed to this, to the end to the end like if my friend all of a sudden like told me she was going on a dating show and then called to meet me for lunch and it's been like chronologically like 12 days and she was like yep this is it this is my person we're in this forever I would be like can we go to the bathroom and talk blink twice if you need help I just want to make sure this isn't like a trafficking or hostage situation because what <laughs> I really? would be way more skeptical. <laughs> like I I don't do background checks on potential dates because we're just like regular people, but I if if a friend or sister or anything came to me about this, I would be like, "Let me Google. I'm going to do some diving." Okay. I'm I am picturing Violet like season six, maybe one of your friends is on it and like they're at the altar and you're just like it pans to you sitting in the back just like That's I mean, I'm pulling a Taylor Swift speak now. Like, I will stand up <laughs> when they say. Good for you. More people should object at those, honestly, especially on this show. I don't know. There's just, there's not a lot to hope for here. So. And then um, even yeah. if you're hoping, even if you're holding out hope, we get to the party at their, like, Houston prison that they stay in. Oh, I have an entire page of notes and I'm like, I'm like, I, I don't even want to look at them because the whole, I, I was tense the whole time. Oh my God. I started time. fast forwarding through scenes at a time because I was watching it and I was like, I feel like I am sitting in this conflict and I don't want to be here. So I just like Johnny and Izzy, I was like, fast forward, fast forward. What's going on here? I don't want to be a part oh. of this. I mean, I can probably <laughs> recap that for you real quick. Please um, don't. He's being a fucking douche. He's so a douche. Basically... He's being a douche. He's like, Not... you're so sketchy. And she's like, you're sketchy. Yeah. So basically, one of the main things we find out at this party, because it's it's everybody, it's not just the couples who are still on the show. It's basically almost all of the contestants just getting together and mingling, et cetera. We find out that Johnny and Chris are actually dating, which I won't uh, lie, I'm actually happy, uh, I'm happy uh, about it. All right, okay. fine. It's fine. Here's the, here's the reason I'm happy about it. <laughs> Back when we were talking about um, when Johnny makes the extremely ill-informed, ill-advised <laughs> move of dumping or getting dumped by Izzy and then immediately trying to like get yeah. engaged to Chris. 
uh, um, our our hope was why don't y'all just try dating and see how that it's goes? true like so i'm actually happy that if they're into if they're interested in each other they've taken themselves out of the hamster wheel of like love is blind engagement marriage etc yeah. and they're they're just they're just dating so like healthy i think hopefully um although at one point johnny does sa- say I'm constantly trying to make it up to him that he's yep. my number two. I don't like, like it. I don't, don't like it. Why did you say that? Like, and don't, then don't, don't also keep calling him your number two. Crying, <laughs> she says, I'm just so glad he's giving me a second chance. People, this is not a good base for a romantic relationship. This is not a good base for a partnership. This is not a good base to like just interact with people where you constantly feel like you are earning like their love and affection and time. And I'm not saying Chris is making her feel that way. I'm saying the thing she said makes it clear she feels like she has to do that. But we find out that there is, I think, more bad blood than we realized between Stace, Stacey and Johnny. Which oh, my at God. At first I was like, wait, you see why are you being rude? And then I was like, wait, okay, I do get it. Because Johnny was kind of talking shit about Stacey. She Stacey's was talking like, shit. Fair. fair. She totally talked fair shit be... first from what we saw. Yes. So like, I don't hate Stacy for like not loving Johnny. That's fine. Same. But then Izzy fucking takes it upon himself to be like, hey, um, I'm really happy for you and I'm happy in my relationship, but let me tell you all the reasons oh. why I think you're a piece of shit. Oh. And it's like, oh. like, if, if this party had a theme, it would be unnecessary conversations. Why are you talking to her? Why? Also, it's the same as what Usha is doing. Which is like, yes, I, I I need to push you to the point to say the thing I want you to say. And I'm going to keep trying to push you to say like, yes, I'm a piece of shit. You know what I mean? It's that. And again, I'm not saying like, I've certainly done it. That's why I know what it looks and feels like. <laughs> and he goes so far as to imply or maybe even say directly that like she doesn't deserve chris and i'm yes! like dude chris you don't know this chris is capable of making his own decisions she's yes. not forcing him to be with her like calm down also calm down. none of you really know each other because you knew johnny through a fucking wall so you don't know and i really dislike it I, I think this is also one of the therapy things. Like, don't say someone is a piece of shit. Say they are acting shitty. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, don't make it about 100%. who they are as a person fundamentally. Right. Like, he is allowed to say, like, I'm still confused and hurt by the way that you navigated things because Absolutely. I consider Chris a friend and I don't like, that would have been fine. But instead mm-hmm. he's like, you're sketchy as hell. You're sketchy as hell. Okay, what, what do I do what, with that? Right. Like, what is she supposed to change? He's not... <sighs> Even when he's like, can I give you advice? Everybody thinks you're sketchy. That's not advice. With the way my blood boils when she decided to to hit her with the, can I give you advice? And I Ah, love that she was like, I don't actually want your advice. Right, I don't need your advice. No, you don't even know me. If I can give you advice. No, I don't need your advice. I feel like you do need it. Because honestly, it's not just me. Everyone thinks you're sketchy as fuck. The thing that was like grossest about it to me is that when he goes to talk to um he goes to talk to Stacy after he's all jazzed he's like, up. He's so fucking proud of himself. He's so proud of himself. And I'm like, yeah, good job. Okay. Ooh, Dude, I yeah. did not take away points for being bald, but you have just been losing points with your behavior. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you think that like every time someone criticizes him in life, he's like, I guess it's because I'm bald. Not I, the, it's not not the shitty things I said. It's just it's my lack of hair of it. <laughs> People are mad at me. I don't get it. I mean, I believe that ha- some people have rejected him for hair, but I believe that more have rejected him for his behavior and attitude. Yeah. Like, is that fair to say? <laughs> like, That's, let's check the tapes. Let's check the data. Like, I bet that supports, I, but that supports your theory. <laughs> the next pointless argument: the same amount of nothing happens. Like Uche wants to yell at another woman. And unlike Aaliyah, who is uh, both like has feelings for him, but also feels like, I think now quiet or like pushed down, Lydia is like, you're not going to talk to me like this. I'm yeah, not going to listen she, to this. I'm not going to be a part of this. And I was like, she yes. She pushes back. Yeah. Because again, I, you're, the way you phrased it was really great. He He's trying to litigate everything. And it's like, why does it matter if she says, yeah, okay, like, 
I looked at people's Instagram stories, which by the way, that's also not, like, that's not creepy. That's, that's not <laughs> stalking. I look at people's not. stories. What's creepy is if you have more than five people who follow you and you go in and look at every single person who looks at your shit, that's creepy and weird. And then mm. you're like cataloging it over. Why is your story public? And wh why do you have that many friends who are like, oh, some woman looked at his stories. That's what I mean. Like that what? is that is way psycho. And mm. people don't just do that. And again, with the whole all of the details that came out when he was talking to Leah and now talking to Lydia, like, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Like, I really I don't, don't either. Like at a certain point, I was like, what do you even want her to say? And then, oh, what would end the, this? The way, <laughs> please end my suffering. <laughs> the way that he speaks to her too, like she, he says something and then she was like, well, no, I didn't lie to you. And he was like, then why was I upset? Oh, why was I upset? oh, that was my, okay. We need to clip that and just be like, this is toxic straight man behavior everywhere. Okay. Because <laughs> bro, why were you upset? You tell me what was going on in your head. What were the feelings that led to you expressing upsetness? What you can't just be like anyone who heard X would be upset. That's not fair. Yeah. So Uche, let me get this straight. Your your way of interacting with people is I'm going to tell you how you feel, but you get to guess how I feel. <laughs> Yes, his MO. And I'm like, this is not healthy, normal behavior. But also Why when you guess wrong, I'm going to be upset with you. Yeah. It's like the worst game, which is why Lydia doesn't play. And I, yes, she can tell she's getting sucked into this fight that will never end until you're both fucking rat kings embroiled in each other. And unfortunately, the way that we end this episode is Uche pulling Milton for a conversation. What? What? I want to talk to you. Is this high school? Is right? this to all the boys I've loved before? Like, what? <laughs> no, because I think that, um, what's his name? Peter Peter Kavinsky is yeah. more emotionally mature. I actually agree. I, I think Peter would handle these things better. Or at least nicer. Yeah. He seems to actually like Lara Jean, whereas yeah. I don't know that any of these men like the women as people, not as partners or as potential romantic anything, as people. That would explain why they freak out at the slightest display of like emotion because <laughs> their like sentient sex doll had an opinion that was different than theirs and it just they can't handle it. So um, I genuinely, <laughs> usually I can binge these episodes. I had to space oh. these out. And, and even then I finished just like. I was, I was so tired and sad. Like, and ex I feel like I have been fighting with a partner. Yeah, I felt too emotionally invested in all of this. I, I like feel it. like I am coming off of like unpleasant, uncomfortable fights with a partner. And I'm like, I'm single. I don't want to feel like this. This is. No. If anything, been, these episodes have just made me more want to casually date and very much ask questions. Um, such as where were you on January 6th? If As we find example. out if 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 that becomes more than a joke, I'm never watching the show with you again because this is hot trash. <laughs> I'm saying I don't even want to watch the next episodes, okay? Like, I'm ready That's to be thing. done. I, I So we've watched, there have been seven episodes. Seven! God help us at the time of recording this. There's more that we haven't watched yet. I, I would assume that episode 10 is the weddings. So what are we going to Can cover? we just jump to the wedding? <laughs> you know what's interesting? Because they have given us nothing, they've given us no no fun in this show i found myself starting to create my own in truly unhinged ways like <laughs> for example um something we didn't talk about uh izzy meets stacy's family and her oh dad's name is dale her dad's name is dale and it comes on the screen and i was like dale Mr. <laughs> <Lab."> <laughs> 
he's Mr. 305 for real <laughs> because he has the best line of the entire show. This will never be topped no matter what anybody else says. Sometimes love wants to fly first class. And I'm making that my Tinder bio because vibes. Vibes. <laughs>